Hey everyone, Dr. Nathan Bryan here. I just want to spend a couple minutes and, and explain to you that if I wanted to shut down your nitric oxide production, I could deliberately do this. And in fact, most drug companies are doing this every day. Do these two products here. Prilosec, which is an antacid called a proton pump inhibitors, and oral antiseptic rinses. These two things right here, if you take either one of these, it shuts down nitric oxide production. If you take both of these, you completely shut down total body nitric oxide production. It's put you at an increased risk for uh, high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, the number one killer of men and women worldwide, diabetes, Alzheimer's, you become exercise intolerant, and you lose the protective benefits of exercise. This is a potent antiseptic, Listerine. 99, kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. It's true, and it's not a good thing. We need the bacteria in our mouth to, to convert nitrate from our diet into nitric oxide. We eradicate the bacteria, we shut down nitric oxide production. Our blood pressure goes up and we lose the protective benefits of exercise. These drugs here are called proton pump inhibitors. These are probably some of the most dangerous drugs on the market. They intentionally shut down nitric oxide or stomach acid production Consequently, you can't break down proteins into amino acids. You develop autoimmune disease. Without stomach acid, you can't absorb things like iron, selenium, chromium, B vitamins, iodine, essential nutrients you need for your body to work properly. Furthermore, these shut down nitric oxide production completely. They prevent the acid disproportionation of nitrite in your saliva from making nitric oxide in the lumen of the stomach, and they lead to an increase in asymmetric dimethyl L arginine, or ADMA which shuts down endothelial nitric oxide production, shuts down the enzymatic production of nitric oxide. So these drugs here inhibit nitric oxide production from both pathways, very dangerous. If you've been on these drugs for three to five years, you have a 40% higher incidence of heart attack and stroke. Furthermore, if you've been on these drugs for three years, you have a 35% increase in vascular dementia and Alzheimer's. These drugs should not be taken, you have to get off these. If you're taking one of these, it's really bad news. If you're doing both of these, using a anti daily antiseptic and taking a daily antacid, you are putting your risk at an extreme risk of heart attack, stroke, and high blood pressure. Mechanistically, we know exactly why. It's shutting down nitric oxide production. Our body needs nitric oxide to heal. Our body needs nitric oxide to perform optimally for the cells to work. Without it, our body cannot and will not heal. And these are the leading contributors to nitric oxide deficiency. And if you're on these, I caution you, please get off. Please understand the, the havoc, the clinical consequences of these two things that are available over the counter. In fact, I bought these today. 14 bucks, I bought both of these. You can get these. Anybody can get these without the care of a physician, without the supervision of a physician. And it's wreaking damage on the American population. It's no wonder why Americans are the sickest population. These drugs are decreasing nitric oxide, or not drugs, these, these oral hygienic uh, antiseptics, these antacids, which are drugs, are completely shutting down nitric oxide production. They're making people sick. More than that, they're killing people at heart attack and stroke and developing Alzheimer's. So understand the importance of nitric oxide. Stop doing the things that disrupt it. Start doing the things that promote it. Uh, we have product technology that actually generates nitric oxide. You can find these at www.n101.com. Not zero, one nitrogen, one oxygen, n 101 Dot com. Stay tuned for more.